Hey guys, Among Us Animation here, coming at you with another update for my Minecraft mod. Hmm? Well, here we are in creative mode. This update is called the Snake Update. Uh, here's one of the biggest things about it. We have lead now. Uh, and in case you remember the uh, crafting recipes that you saw in the last video. Now, bullets are made from lead instead of flint. So here I am going to craft. Ah. Crafting table. No, crafting the pistol. Which, uh, yeah. Anyways, this is the pistol. It deals 11 damage per shot. Its bullets are affected by gravity, so be wary of that. And here's how you craft the ammo. With lead and gunpowder. Wow, that's a, a surplus. Guns have to wind up before they can fire, whereas the pistol doesn't require quite as much wind up. And there's a bit of a graphics issue with the arrow. But yeah, think of it as if the arrow was going was actually going straight with this gravity. But anyways, uh, here we go. We're gonna be summoning creatures. Now in case you remember, snakes used to have only one color, dark green, and they used to only drop a dead snake, but now they drop snake skin and raw snake. Not both at the same time though, but uh, they drop one of either. As you can see, now they don't just come in dark green anymore, now they also have light green, yellow, and red. And uh, in the last update, which was the steel update, I also made them venomous. But now, I've also added another type of snake, the large snake. The large snake has more health, deals more damage, it moves, well, actually it moves the same speed, but uh, it can follow you from further away and has stronger poison. And they have faces. They also drop more XP and they drop more items. Anyways, let's face off against them. <laughs> yeah, because they can one shot even the giant snakes. It can two-shot zombies and creepers and skeletons. Yeah, with these snakes you have to get kind of close before they start following you. You can hear their slithering sound, and here's me being poisoned from the snake bite. I also made a few cha other changes as far as balancing. Now I've also made the crocodile have a little more health. Now they have 40 health instead of 35 and they move a little faster than before. They're also bigger in size 
and uh, also made them spawn a little less often. And by the way, the uh, giant snakes spawn about as often as the wild boars. Here's the croc. And when they die, they drop blubber. Raw blubber, which can be cooked with the furnace. Yeah, so they have 40 health. I'm gonna, I've also made a change to the hunting rifle. Now it deals 40 damage instead of 50. But uh, I've also made it create more ammo. Now instead of 4 ammo, the crafting recipe gives it 5. The hippos now have 60 health instead of 70. And they also attack elephants. Yeah. Well, the elephant is the toughest to fight against in melee because it has the most health. And, uh,. It has the most damage. Now the elephant, at first it had 80 health, then in the steel update I brought it up to 100. But uh, then I brought it back down to 80. For balance purposes, because uh, otherwise they just would have been too tough. And then buffaloes which have 50 health, even though they've always had 50 health. And also elephants and buffaloes attack zombies, which was an addition in the uh, steel update. I see buffaloes can be brown and black now. Additionally, I've added snake bosses, and these are the ones that drop lead ore. And lead ore can be furnished to turn into a lead ingot. Now here's lead ore. Well, And uh, the snake bosses spawn naturally, but they're rare. So uh, let's go look for some. I didn't make any spawn eggs for the snake bosses, because uh, I feel like it would be kind of crazy if you could just spawn a bunch of bosses. And now... There's the health bar for the uh, Slithering Fury Snake. Oh, there it is. Now, it has a really strong poison. It has 80 health. Moves fast. Follows from far away. It's, it's just dangerous in every way. But if you have a rifle... Two good shots, and it's dead. It can also be summoned using commands. Let's 
got a sneak sneak. Well, it seems to be glitched at the moment, which will hopefully be fixed by the next update. It was supposed to drop lead. Alright, next snake boss. Now this one has a hundred health. It moves a tiny bit slower than the last one. Its poison isn't quite as strong, but it deals more damage. Now these things can be pretty hard to fight in melee mode because of their weird hitboxes. Which is also the case with pretty much every creature in this game, except the small ones. Next we're gonna summon the uh, third snake boss. It's called the Reptilian Titan. It is the biggest one. Oh. It has 120 health, moves at the same speed as the last snake. Whereas the Slithering Fury is the one that moves the fastest, and this has as much poison as the Slithering Fury. It deals as much damage as the Slithering Fury, and it drops lead. And here's the lead ore. Well, that's about it for this update, but uh, stay tuned for the next one, which will be called the More Guns Update, which will be about adding more firearms into the game. Uh, 